Okay, so if you're actually pretty good in basic math, this should be a very easy problem to solve without using a calculator. All right, so here is the question. 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths. Okay, so again, no calculators, but uh, if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer again. The question is 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at that answer. The correct answer here is the following. Either the fraction 3 fourths or the decimal 0.75. All right, now if you got this right and you did not use a calculator, well, you're definitely going to get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know this is easy, but uh, it's been a long time since I've done any basic math. Well, uh, don't worry. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get into things right now. So, first of all, we need to recognize that we're dealing with uh, decimals and fractions, right? So, this right here is three-tenths, okay? Now, if you just kind of say this outside, outside, not outside, you could say it outside if you want, but to out loud is what I meant to say, uh, three-tenths, what does that sound like? Does that sound like a fraction or a decimal? Well, actually, you can think of it in both ways, right? You could write three-tenths as a decimal, or you could write it as a fraction, but how about two-fifths, okay? Well, two-fifths, you're probably gonna think of this as a fraction, so we need to make a um, decision here. Are we gonna work with decimals or fractions? Now, we can we convert a fraction to a decimal? Of course we could, right? So we have to make a decision on how we're going to work. So here, again, we have three-tenths uh, divided by two-fifths. Now, let's suppose you thought of three-tenths as a uh, decimal, okay? Now this goes to uh, what I was talking about earlier, place value. So 3 tenths as a decimal is 0.3. So in other words, if I said write this um, uh, decimal 0.3, um, write it as words, right? You would write 3 tenths because the 3 is in the tenths uh, uh, place, okay? Again, this goes to place value. This is the stuff that we learned way back in elementary school and middle school that probably most of us uh, tend to forget because we work with calculators all the time. But 0.3 is what we would say three tenths. Okay. Now you can write that as a fraction. I'll show you that in a second. And that's going to be divided by two fifths. Okay. So two fifths, you can write as a fraction two over five. Okay. So we could think of this problem uh, as 0.3 divided by uh, two fifths or um, three tenths divided by two fifths. But again, uh, if we're not using our calculator, we need, we really want to work all in either uh, in, uh, uh, all decimals or all fractions. Okay. Now this approach right here, I don't think is the easiest approach. Okay. And let me go and show you what I think is the better approach to do this problem uh, is to write this all as one fraction problem. So three tenths is also the fraction three over 10. Okay, so 3 tenths, we can express this this way, 3 over 10. And if you were going to, uh, you're going to your calculator and take 3 and divide it by 10, you would end up with that decimal 0.3, okay, or 3 tenths. This is 3 tenths as well, right? So don't be confused with that. Just remember there is a relationship between decimals and fractions and, of course, place value. All right, so we have 3 tenths divided by, so here is that division symbol, by 2 fifths. All right, so really what we're doing here is um, translating a verbal math problem into an actual math problem with numbers. Okay, so we had some choices whether we're going to work with decimals and fractions. So I'm going to suggest that you work all with fractions. Okay, so this is the problem that we're going to do. So 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths. How do you do this problem? Well, uh, let's go through the solution right now. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Now, my channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. Also, I'm trying to encourage people that are having a tough time in math to never give up. So if you enjoyed this content, again, hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. 
Okay, so the first thing is when you're dealing with fractions and you see um, division, before you learn how to do division of fractions, you need to know how to multiply fractions because what we're going to do is change this division problem into a multiplication problem. Okay, so anytime you see division of fractions, what you're going to end up doing is actually turning this into a multiplication uh, problem. And there is a little bit of a step that we have to um, take in order to do that. So let's go ahead and see this right now. Okay, so here we have 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths. So this is a division problem right here. What we're going to do is change this into multiplication. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, what we do is we take the fraction to the right of the division symbol. So here's the division symbol. This is the fraction to the right. And we're going to flip it upside down. Okay. That's called the reciprocal. So here we have two fifths. We're going to flip it upside down. That's five over two. Okay. But when we flip it upside down, we get to change this division operator to multiplication. Okay. So just make sure you understand we're going from division to multiplication. And the way we do that is to flip the fraction that's to the right of the division symbol. Okay, never the one to the front. That one stays the same. The one to the right, we're going to flip it upside down. Okay, so now uh, what we have is an equivalent problem. If we figure this out, it's the same thing as doing this. So now we have to answer this question, 3 over 10 uh, times 5 halves. Okay, and, and this is actually quite easy. So let's uh, talk about how to multiply fractions. So when you're multiplying fractions, all you need to do is simply multiply the respective numerators and denominators. You're just going to multiply across. So 3 tenths times 5 over 2 is going to be 3 times 5, okay, as you, uh, I'm uh, writing right here. Okay, again, we're, the, the numerators are the top numbers of the fraction, right? So we're just multiplying across. So uh, 3 over 10 times 5 over 2 is 3 times 5. We'll figure this out, and then 10 times 2 will be our uh, denominator. All right, so I'm just taking it nice and slow here for those of you that might be a little bit rusty on fractions. So let's go ahead and clean this up. So 3 times 5 over 10 times 2. Most of you can see what the answer is going to be. So 3 times 5, of course, is 15. 10 times 2 is 20. Now let's suppose you stopped right there and you said uh, this was your final answer. Well, actually, you did pretty good if, in fact, this is what you got. But here is the deal. Anytime you're working with... Um, fractions or anything in mathematics, you always want to write uh, your answer in simplest uh, terms, okay? So when you're, uh, you know, working with fractions, you always want to reduce or simplify your fraction. So here you can see that 5 goes into 15 three times and 5 goes into 20 four times. So 3 fourths is that fraction simplified. Now let's uh, see this in action a little bit uh, more here, 15 over 20. You can actually Notice right here, before you, when you have a multiplication, um, or so when you're multiplying fractions and you have the factors right here, this would be a great opportunity for you to simplify or reduce this problem uh, before doing all this multiplication. So this is what I mean. So here is 3 times 5, and this is 10 times 2. This is called cross-canceling. Notice this 5 goes into this 10 how many times? Well, it goes into it two times. So we could cross-cancel this 5 and this 10 and we could put a two there. So when we um, do this multiplication, what's gonna be left? Two times two, which of course is four. And then here we have a three in the numerator. But uh, let's go ahead and look at this um, uh, differently here, just so you understand, kind of take an extra step, because um, I really want you uh, to make sure you understand how to simplify a uh, fraction. So here we have three times five, this is 10 times two. Let's write 10, remember there was a 10 here, let's write that as 2 times 5, okay? So 2 times 5, we'll actually write it this way. So here's all the factors. Now we just cross-cancel um, uh, like factors one for one, okay? So if you see a 5 up here in the numerator, you look down in the denominator, oh, I got a 5, we can cross-cancel that. So uh, there's no more uh, like factors between the numerator and denominator, so that leaves us with a 3 and a 2 and a 2 down here. So 2 times 2 is 4 and then just a three in the numerator. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. 
Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.